I'm upset. Now you're getting the picture, huh? Look at you. You're scared to death, aren't you? Why don't you run on out of here? Go ahead. Run on out of here, Alice. Run from the guy that can't control his life. Run from the guy who's dangerous. Go ahead. Run. Run. Get out of here. Bother you. Go on. Go on. Get out of here. Go on. Get out of here. Who the hell needs you anyway? I tied. I... What are you... Come on, talk. Talk. What? What are you afraid of? Todd? What are you afraid of? You're afraid I'm going to like you? You're afraid I'm going to want to marry you? Todd, look, I think you Here. need to be alone. Look at this. Look at this. Come on, I want you to look at it. Check it out. Come on. What? I said look at Todd! it! It's nice, huh? It's really nice, right? It's a ring. Does that scare you? No, Does that Todd? scare you? Because somebody earlier tonight, I... it scared her. It scared her so much that she ran into the arms of another guy. That really made my day. You know what? I want you to have this. Come on. Come on, I want you to take it. Go ahead, take Todd. it. I want you to have it. Here, take it. You can have it. It's yours. Take it. It's really nice. Todd, please, just let go. What? Stop it. Take it, Alice. Let... Come on. It's worth a lot. Take it. Just take it. Will you take it? Todd, let go! Take it! Take it from me! Will you just take from me? What's his name? Are you doing? You, what the hell are you doing here? Leave me alone! Are you all right? Did he hurt you? You stay out of this. No, I'm fine. He no. just scared me a little. A little? Oh. He scared you a little? Look, would you calm down? Who the hell are you kidding? I scared you to death. Well, stop yelling at her. Brent, I'm sorry. Could you just take your break somewhere else? I mean, we're in the middle of something here. Sure, no problem. Sorry. Thank you. Gloria. Gloria, could you and Mary take her down to the cafeteria and maybe get her some tea? Sure. Uh, before she goes home, calm her down. Sure. Come It'll on, honey. honey. Come on. Listen to me. You better get your steps together before you blow everything that you've been working on sky high. It's already blown. Why don't you go ahead and call the cops, huh? You know you want me back in prison, you, Marty. Look, Todd. So go ahead and make that call. You want to know something, lady? You hate me? Well, right back at you. I hate you, too. You and Marty and every other stinking woman in this town. Especially the ones who say that the they care. who care about you. Everybody is dumping on me. Everybody's betraying me, and I hate you! I hate you all! Get the hell out of my face, because I don't need any of you. Why don't you go ahead and make that phone call? I've got news for you, Todd. I'm not going anywhere. And if you want some more news, I don't hate you. And I don't want to see you back in prison. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. I want you to sit down and calm down. I said sit down. Why don't you close your mouth and breathe through your nose, nice and deep, nice and easy. Okay. How about telling me what's going on? The last time I saw you, Todd, you were feeling pretty good about yourself. I mean, does all what is it, almost 11? What are we talking, six hours? Six hours ago, Todd, you were saying that you wanted to continue in your therapy sessions, that everything was going to be okay. I mean, I don't, I just don't understand it. I don't get it. You were downright hopeful, Todd. I mean, what went wrong? Oh, I can't, I can't. I'm marrying oh, pal. Let yourself Wait, go. Go. Rebecca, just, just let yourself go. Be scared of me. I am. I am so scared of you. Please just go away. No. No, see, I'm the one that you love. I love Powell. You don't, you see, I know that. I see that every time I look at your arms. No! I am connected. You know that, and I know that. It's like we were meant to be together. Right? Tom, let me go! Let me... Let me go. Just go away. 
You have no idea how much you frightened me. Todd, what happened? Beautiful. I don't know, Rocky. I um, I'm staying over at the Waterside Inn, and I've been out on a walk for about an hour down, along the river, across the park. Long walk. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll have um scotch and soda, please. You got it, babe. Hey. You. Uh, don't you know that it's dangerous for a woman to walk alone by the river after dark? Thanks for the advice. What would you want to do that for anyway? You looking for some married jerk whose home you want to wreck? And what are you looking for, huh? What you got? I live here. You want to go upstairs? Charming. I know. What are you looking at me like that for? That married jerk go back to his wife, leave you all by your lonesome. Why, you seem all out of sorts tonight, Mr. Manning. Now, don't tell me that you're still mooning over that girl you told me about, the one that uh, threw you over for that little preppy guy, hmm? I hope I never see the two of them again as long as I live. Well, then I hope so, too. Hey, Manny. You said you were working nights this week. It's way after 11, you know? Todd hasn't punched in yet. It's almost 11.30. Well, what do you think, Ray? Are we just fooling ourselves thinking we can help this guy? I mean, you should have seen him tonight. I know. I, I've seen Todd lose it before, but Sheila, I'm gonna tell you something. It's always because he feels betrayed. Well, that sure fits tonight. He even said it. It obviously had something to do with this. Wow. A nice looking engagement ring. Yeah. But who's Todd gonna get to marry him? He's only been out of prison a few weeks. Yeah, well, if he doesn't show up on time, he's gonna lose his job. Hey, and if he if he loses his job, he's on his way back to Statesville. No, tell me about it. He was so good about this job. No complaining, always on time, but now I I'm worried about him, Sheila. I really am. Well, if you could have seen the way he was going after Alice Henson tonight, you'd be even more worried about him. Mm -hmm. 